Hey y'all, it's me, Sarna Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So let's see for our um, Scorpios. What's going on, Scorpios? What's going on, stubborn? Scorpio, know y'all can be stubborn, okay? No, we could be stubborn. New line of study. It's time to learn something new, okay? Somebody here is being urged to learn something new. You're also being warned that um, it's time to learn something new. This is either you, Scorpio, or somebody else outside of you. Um, okay? Taurus. Okay, somebody here needs to learn something new. And then we have obsession and termination here. I feel like you could be um, terminating energies or terminating like contracts, like life contracts or whatever this is with people who are obsessed with you or I don't know, maybe somebody here is stubbornly obsessed with you and it's like, you know, hey, it's time to like release this energy, terminate, you maybe let go from this job, like your karmics are about to be terminated. Yeah, as you're learning something new, you know, you're moving in a different direction. These people, the missing pieces that you maybe you're in your life purpose here and they don't want to, they don't want to believe it here. Okay, so you're just sitting here still relaxed and they're still sitting there trying to attack. Okay, maybe, you know, because you see through the fog. Okay, you have your own gifts, you know, that you can see through the illusion, see through people's tricks here. Excuse me. And maybe this is bringing some people to their breaking point that you can see through their tricks here. You, um, you are divinely guided. You're somebody here who you're not going to just fold. Okay, this is something that maybe someone here could be getting. Um, maybe you'll be tested around Christmas. And how, um, yeah, around Christmas could have been tested around Halloween or maybe, you know, with the Scorpio energy, that's definitely Halloween. And you have Sagittarius energy, you have Taurus energy here. Okay. Um, I also have Leo energy, I guess. Let's see what this confusion card. Yeah, somebody here is confused because of all the things that they've been doing and saying behind the scenes. They, um, you know, it's kind of like how they could kind of be like addicted to watching you, you know, they could be addicted to, you know, looking at you and, and, and looking, try, they try to like pick you apart or something like that. But it's, and it's because they're obsessed with you. Okay. And someone here, they, you know, they find it funny. They laugh at you. They'll pick at you, but they see you upgrading here. Right. Or maybe they're laughing at you but at one point but now it's like you're upgrading and now someone here could want to want to be like you or mimic you in some type of way scorpio and it's like you know that's not you know in this case in scenario it's like someone here is starting to self-reflect they're starting to step up to a you know a different role and position here and they're going through transitions okay someone here is transitioning at one point, some people wanted to like, you know, laugh at you and try to like act like they were you or whatever the case may have been. But now it's like, you know, they're seeing they're like, OK, Scorpio know really what Scorpio is doing and what Scorpio is talking about. OK, someone here fought, sees sees you see through symbol, you see through illusions here. It's like you have signs and symbols that help you to see through illusions. And so this is like somebody who is like they're grateful for this okay they're grateful for your high intuition and your ability to just say it you just say it you know you say it don't spray it. and i mean spray it as in like you don't just be shooting people the hell up you just say what needs to be said and you know let it be what it needs to be you know you it's that that is that you know it says what's it says right and there could be someone here that was kicking you out and blocking you um and, or trying to create blockages around you. And now it's like they want to apologize because they see that they were going the wrong way and that you are actually somebody who, you know, um, could be helpful to them, Scorpio. Okay, some of these people or someone here sees you as a helpful individual, someone who has gone through a major transformation and um, they appreciate you. Yeah, celebrating here. So these people could be celebrating your 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 um, 
who you are, your gifts, your talents, whatever this is, whatever this is that they're obsessed with you over, okay? Something that you've learned new, something that you transform into Scorpio, okay? And I feel like this is something that they're secretly doing. They're not they're not telling you, hey, I'm proud of you, but they are watching you and they are desiring you, Scorpio. They are, okay? Even if they don't say it. Okay, but maybe someone here could be secretly watching you as well that maybe you kicked out of your life that because they were coming around with illusions and stuff like that. But this person could be watching you. If this is one person, they're blocked. They're left behind here. Somebody here is blocked and left behind. Could be somebody who um, you had a family with or something like that at some point, Scorpio. Or maybe this is family that you grew up in. Somebody here is really, you know, releasing the fake energy here. Someone here, um, yeah, fake energy. What's this stubborn card for the Scorpios? Stubborn. This emperor here could be, um, yeah, somebody here was stubborn. Somebody here could have done some unjustifiable actions here. This emperor could be a father figure, um, a boss. Okay, or some, or, yeah, stubborn empress, damn, divine counterpart. So somebody here, emperor, could have done, your divine counterpart, Scorpio, could have done something very um, unjustifiable to you. Or maybe this is somebody's baby. This could be a baby mother, baby father situation where a baby mother or a baby father could have done something that was very unjustifiable to you. Take it how it resonates here, okay? Someone here is in a queen of swords energy. They no longer want to, you know, they're not being nice about how they feel. They straight up saying, you know, F you, you got me F'd up, or whatever the case may have been. Something like that here. Someone here is not allowing someone to manipulate them with this weak ass apology or whatever the case may have been. That's how I feel like you you see in things here. Somebody, I feel like you're rejecting whoever this is or whatever this is with this ex person, possibly a, a child's father or a parent. Um and cho and choosing to like move forward here, you're rejecting this person or rejecting this energy here because something was done unjustifiably, something was not right. So what's this? Um. Oh, yes. Yeah, so what's this new line of study? New line of study. New line of study with the world card. I feel like you completed out this cycle here. You chose to, you know, come full circle and, and move forward with the chariot card. So someone here is really learning lessons. They're learning how to balance their energy. They're learning how to, you know, go for what it is that they want and what they desire. And they're moving forward, um, determined to, you know, heal. You know, someone here is healing. Someone here is also invested in a connection, a new love, a connection, um, a new love where there's, you know, equal give and take here. It's equal give and take. Yeah, someone here could have been, um, this baby mother could have felt like weighed down by this belief system here that someone here kept trying to propose to someone um, when it comes to a child or some children here. Someone here just felt like, you know what, this is not what I feel is uh appropriate here so let's see i want to i want to learn something new this is an illusion i'm protecting myself from this shit hell no this is not cool i see you protecting yourself from some type of illusion when it comes to a child or when it comes to some type of money or proposal here what's this um what's this new line of study Someone here also could have been making offerings against you, but it's like that shit closed out. What's the Knight of Swords? The Knight of Swords, this is like, this is giving me. Oh, shit. Yeah, someone here is quickly moving, moving in or moving on. Okay, someone here is quickly moving on. Or moving in someplace here. There's a lot of communication, a lot of fast communication within a relationship. Okay, so maybe you're moving from one one from one space. So you're closing out a cycle with a baby mother, baby father, or closing out a cycle with 
a parent situation where some unjustifiable shit was done and you're choosing to move forward very quickly here and partner up with someone else and work with someone else here. You could be being guided to move with someone here. You're just, you're taking action and you're full of confidence as you should be. Okay, what's this caution card? Of course, there's always a warning, Scorpio. There's always some type of warning here. Okay, so there's some type of mystery, possibly some type of um, um, illusion or something that I feel like you're going to be protected from. Someone here also could have been warned before this illusion. Some type of secret here. Possibly somebody here could have had some type of... What's this? There's a warning. Or maybe this is you here who is like, you're very cautious. You're very protective. You're very secretive. You're very like, you know, like, hey, hold on. Wait a second. Like, you know, hold on. Like, you could be, this could be something that you don't normally do here. Or maybe you, mm, let's see. What's this, the moon card for the Scorpio with the caution? What's this moon? What's this illusion? There's something that's coming to an end. Something has been, somebody here has been enlightened here. Possibly it could be like, there's an ending to a stagnate, stagnant energy here. There's an ending to fear. It's like when someone here was like very um, overprotective of their energy and very like um, guarded, very scared, very nervous, very, you know, like, hold on, wait, no, you can't, you, you know, someone here was nervous about, they could have been nervous about just moving forward so quickly or moving into something so quickly here. But I feel like there was hope. Someone here held on to hope or maybe they could have gotten to their destiny. They could have, okay, someone here could have gotten to your, you could have gotten to your destiny, right? You could have began to shine. There could have been people who were secretly coming and trying to come against you here. Um, Scorpio. Could have been trying to come against your uh, a partnership that you were in with with the lovers here, but I feel like you held on to hope, and you began to shine, and it's like your your destiny is propelling you forward here, because at one point you could have been very stuck, Scorpio, because of a need to heal out this toxic cycle with this. Um, baby mom, baby dad, or mother, father situation here that where someone here was just stubbornly holding on to something that was just like, you know, there will always be bad karma in that situation. You have to move forward. So now someone here is stepping out on the limb, protecting their energy, you know, being, um, you know, humble, but yet balanced and, you know, emotionally secure, but they're going in a direction where they've never been before. And it's happening very quickly. So I feel like someone has completed out one cycle of healing and, you know, this energy of stagnation is like now the wheel is turning. So now someone here is taking action when it comes to love, Scorpio, or you will be. There's someone who's coming towards you who wants to, to want something for the long haul. They want they want equal give and take. They want they want something that'll last long. This is new love, Scorpio, coming in for you. So there's new love coming. Okay. Yeah, your intuition. I feel like your intuition. It's like maybe it's like you secretly know. It's almost like someone here, it's like someone here. Someone here could move quickly, okay? Or maybe they could move in a way that's very, like, low-key. Maybe you're going to have to move very low-key because there's going to be, like, people who are going to be obsessed with you. People who are going to want to lie and, like, scheme to try to get, you know, aroused out of you. It's like, you got to move low-key here. Someone here, you know you have to move low-key to um, keep down keep down some type of like unnecessary confusion okay when it comes to this new partnership 
you know, you let know who needs to know type energy or something like that here. So what's obsession? Obsession for the Scorpios. What's three of swords? Three of swords and the six of swords. So someone here, these are people who are obsessed with coming and impulsively taking action towards you. Possibly who are obsessed with, you know, are full of lust, lustful energy towards you. They're heartbroken because you're traveling in a way, right? They don't know or understand why or whoever this is. This possibly this baby father, baby mother. This person doesn't understand why you don't want to have sex with them anymore. They don't know if it's them. Is it, you know, is it you? Is it them? Is it someone else? Is it what? You know, somebody here to feel a way. Um, and there are also people who are who are obsessed with you, who have taken very risky actions towards you. And they're going to end up heartbroken or they already are heartbroken, Scorpio here. Yeah, these actions that they took, these risky actions. This obsession, this also could be a can, a, um, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here who is obsessed with you. And somebody here feels heartbroken because you moved away here. You moved in a new direction. Um, you no longer want to communicate with this person here. It's, or someone here, um, maybe when you were trying to communicate with someone here and give, speak your truth and be honest possibly about how you felt. Somebody here ghosted you and left you hanging. And now somebody here feels weighed down because they feel exposed and they feel regret, you know. It's like they regret how they treated you or something like that. They really wish that they could reconcile with you, but they know that they betrayed you in the past here. And so now they're obsessed with you because, you know, they're watching you move away from them. They're watching, they, their intuition is telling them they know good and well that it's over with. And there also could be um, a child here in some way, but that's over with. Whatever the case is, it's over with. Yeah, there was some type of self-deception. There could have been a twin flame here possibly who was um, deceiving themselves. They was lying to themselves here. And now it's like they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with watching you or playing or being in your energy as well. That, that could have been the person who did this unjustifiable action here now. And, you know, they could be they could regret something because you're moving um, towards a new love. Scorpio. So what's this? Yeah, ten of wands. Somebody here. This is weighing on someone here. This commitment that you're now in Scorpio. What's this termination card for the Scorpios? Termination. Somebody here could be moving away from some type of um, belief system, a family structure. That, you know, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. What's this termination? There could also be somebody here who wants to apologize. Some family members who want to apologize here. They um, want to come, like, you know, love on you and give you your flowers. Something like that. And a father figure, a mother figure, or, or, or um auntie or something like that, Scorpio. Let's see. What's this um termination? Termination card. Termination. Okay, so people from your past. I feel like you 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 had to fire some people here. You had to release some people or somebody here. This person could have released you. This whoever this is, this twin, whoever this is. This there also could be a house that's coming down. Somebody here could have been trying to pay their rent for as long as they could, but now it's coming down here. Somebody foundation could be coming down. Somebody here possibly doesn't have enough. But I see that, yeah, some, some commitment is becoming too much. Um, what is this termination card? Termination. Hermit, somebody here is releasing. Somebody here is solo by themselves. They're being ghosted, or they're or they're ghosting everybody else. Yeah, somebody here. This could have been a twin flame. I'm telling you, this could have been a twin flame here, where somebody here could have went through a lot and finally just released this person, released this energy, released this person's energy. Yeah, laid it to rest, found a way to heal. And ended up having victory and success because you ended up ended out the situation with whoever this was here. Somebody who was not being honest with themselves. Okay.
Somebody from your past could have tried to breadcrumb you. Someone here also could have tried to manipulate you. But you walked away because you've seen the truth in it. You've seen the truth in how this person was behaving as well. Could have been a Gemini involved. But, um... Who's the Queen of Cups? A Virgo as well. Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is rejecting this. This Queen of Cups is rejecting this karmic solution. This this Capricorn possibly. This Queen of Cups has been through enough with whoever this is that's obsessing over them. Somebody here also is just obsessing over and, and like they're just lustful. They don't necessarily want anything. They don't necessarily actually like this individual. They just lustful. They obsessed with this person. They're obsessive over this person. This is somebody who, or they're obsessive over you. This is somebody who felt like they will always have you, Scorpio. And it's like you could have went through a lot with this person for a long time, and you finally just was like, you know what? I'm just I cannot do this fucking shit no fucking more. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking tired. I don't want this shit. No. And it's like you could have manifested your perfect. You know, your perfect beginning. Your happily ever after. Your new new. Okay? You could have manifested something that fits what you desire, what you need. A ten of pentacles, something that's very grounded and stable. So what's this confusion here? Somebody here is confused as to why their drama, why they can't come in and love bomb you and then attack you. Why are you avoiding this drama? How are you avoiding this drama? Why is it not hitting you? Someone here regrets like third party situations as well what's this confusion card yeah they're confused as to how you can stay so balanced here after all these actions that they've taken against you someone here is also confused as to how everything keeps coming back on them someone here is also confused as to how in the hell you were able to manifest a relationship when they were doing so much to stagnate you um from getting into a relationship. What's this confusion part? Someone here also is trying to understand why they can't block whatever this is that's coming in for you. Yeah, this attack on this relationship. They're trying to understand why, how is this relationship still maintaining and still so balanced here? Someone here, it's like competition. Somebody's taking spiritual action against you or they're just taking action against you out of jealousy and competition here or just uh, being competitive here and it's and it's ending out it's ending bad it's ending possibly in resulting in someone's death or someone's sickness or something here but really what it also is happening Scorpio is helping you and excuse me your partner to go through different rebirths and transitions over again and again and again someone here it's like the more times they send death spells towards your relationship or towards you um it's like or your or your new relationship or anytime they attack your love life or just you as a person it helps you to go through another rebirth you get to start. It's almost like you got nine lives like a cat, Scorpio. You get to start again, again, and again, and again. And you're like, you know what? Okay, now I need to heal this part of me. Okay, now I need to heal that side of me. It's like you're actually addressing what hurts here. It's giving you a chance to actually sit down and rest and analyze what it is that you need to change. And so this is helping you get towards that victory and that success here. Okay, yeah, someone here, it's like they try to sneak around or they're trying to strategize how to how to make it happen. But it's like every time they strategize or they try to speak to you or I don't know, whatever they try to do, somebody here always ends up just hurting themselves. Whatever this is, they end up hurting themselves. Okay. Someone here speaks to you to try to confuse you, but I feel like you're or somebody here wants you to think that the person that you're with is someone who's speaking or sending messages sneakily or somebody who's not, you know, like make you feel off balance here. But whoever you're with is a very deep spiritual connection, Scorpio, or will be with the high priestess and the hierophant card. I feel like you guys will be able to see through 